Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. So we just finished our layouts for the volume two of my Oahu Hawaii series. And I noticed as I was um, preparing to, or as I was loading all those pages into uh, the cover set and preparing to do the flip through that I never did the cover sh the cover page the the title page for that album, so I need to do that for you today. We're going to do that title page, and then in a separate video, I'm going to go through and show you how I incorporate all the peekaboo pockets that I added, and um, and make those work with the um, p with the page protectors that I'll be putting on my pages and do a complete flip through flip through so you can see that entire album from start to finish um, as it is completed after today so um, let's check out my workspace and get that title page done so that that album is is all finished all right so this is my workspace for today and um, <clears throat> I decided that what I would do is go ahead and just pull pieces of decorative paper that I have used throughout this album and use it to create the title page. So what I did was I cut, um, I, I gathered all of the scraps of papers that I had used in different layouts um, throughout this album and I went ahead and just either trimmed um, a one inch piece off or um, or I already had a one inch piece or thereabouts and um, you'll notice a couple of these are a little smaller I think this one's more like a half inch I've got a couple in here that are more like three quarters of an inch but the point is that when you add them all together they make a they make up a 12 inch um, 12 inches of decorative paper and then <clears throat> when you put them on your paper you just need to be happy with the arrangement when I place my papers in an arrangement like this I usually try to kind of balance colors so if I have something kind of if I have blue as a predominant color like I do kind of in this page I try to make sure I have blue throughout the page not all on one end or another so you can see I've got the blue scaly paper from Serene Waters down here. I've got another blue paper from Serene Waters Tone on Tone right here, plus a piece of vellum I had that I'm going to run through the middle of that. I've got another piece of blue water paper here that's also from Serene Waters. I've got this piece right here, which is a decorative piece from Serene Waters, but has um, a piece of vellum again over top of it. And then we've got this one, which is that variegated sunset um, kind of print that has that deep blue on one side. So just kind of spread through the layout um, to give it a little bit more variety. I think I'm going to, I feel like this one needs to be kind of swapped. So I think I'm going to do that instead of way I, the way I had it planned. So we have a little bit more. So the yellow is more um, spread out. We've got yellow here, kind of a gold here, a little bit of it here, here, and some more here at the bottom. We've got greens um, here, here, and here. We've got kind of this floral. Um, kind of pinky purple color just in a couple of spots and um, I think this will work this way so basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is adhere I, I chose a piece of paper um, that's a cover sheet from one of the paper packs it's not a cardstock cover sheet though um, you'll recall that many of our um, designer packs of paper now the cover sheet is a still an acid-free, lignin-free, paper-safe uh, or scrapbook-safe um, piece of paper, but a much lighter weight um, paper 
for that title uh, or cover sheet in our designer packs. And so I have flipped that over to the white side and I'm just using that because it's it's much lighter weight and I'm going to be adding all this paper to it so I don't want to do a cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I actually may like that stripe better. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this stripe. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add all of these, adhere all of these to that base page and then I'll be right back with you to proceed um, with the next portion of this layout. So um, if you have selected your papers, just go ahead and cut them. And even if you're not sure how wide they are, just you can start adhering them if you know the the um, if you know how you want them laid out, you can start adhering them and then just trim off the edge um, when you get to the other side. So um, I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch all of this. Alright, so now we've got all of these adhered. Um, you'll notice I had to pull out my vellum adhesive to adhere the two vellum strips on here, which is fine. Um, I am going to use an old template. This heart template is from an older set of jumbo um, template templates that I think were a bonus back with old CM. Um, a lot of times, um, unless you purchase these with old CM, you probably um, won't be able to find them unless you, it's possible you could find them on an in search of site, I suppose. Um, they're, they're a little bit difficult, but you could use another shape um, besides this one. I'm using this one because um, I'm putting an enlargement that I made of us from the luau that we did at our hotel um, on, this is going to go on the front page of, of this album. And so essentially what I'm doing here is making a frame for that. So I'm going to use this and place it um, on place it on here. I'm not going to place it right directly in the center. I'm trying to place it a little slightly up uh, slightly north of center. If you know what that means. Slightly enough? upper. Yes, it will be big enough. So um, you can see by this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going around the outside and it will be it'll be okay. just fine yeah Marvelous. so um, you won't see a lot of our lays down here but that's okay no, the heads are gonna be this big. picture is in another part of the album also not enlarged to this point oh, but okay. but it is also in the album in another place so cool. yeah all will be well. So I think I'm going to use my green and my blue blades for this and I'll show you why I'm pulling out two in just a second. Um, but I'm going to... You can do this a couple of different ways. You can cut the template shape into, into this page or you can cut the template shape into your photo and then um, adhere the photo to the page. So um, 
there are a couple of different schools of thought where that's concerned. Um, if you're worried about possibly making a mistake when you cut this, um, you might not want to cut your photo and then adhere your photo onto the page. However, if you're not sure where you want your photo to go, then you would want to cut the photo first and be able to move it around wherever you want it. So um, I've, I've thought about this for a long time as I came up with this idea to use my scraps to make the title page. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the photo. Um, and then that way I can um, be a little bit more flexible with where it's going to go on my layout. And so I'm just going to place the template so that I can ensure that both of our faces are in the picture. And I'm going to use the green blade so that it's um, I have a little bit more of a border around us. And then we're going to um, also do some other things with the green blade and the blue blade. So let me, um, let's go ahead and we'll cut the photo. So just making sure my feet are in the channel so I don't damage the photo as I'm going around. Because if you're familiar with our custom cutting system, then you've probably had an experience with not having the feet where they're supposed to be. And then whatever you're trying to cut often gets torn, which is not good. That's not what we want, so. You just have to kind of go slowly anytime you have a curve, an interior curve like this one or an exterior curve like this one down here so that you can make sure you get a smooth cut. And I went, I uh, started there, so that's why I ended up with that little tiny little itty, itty bitty bit off to the side. Okay, so there's our photo that we're going to add to the front. And I was thinking that maybe it might be a good idea to do, to, to move it up and kind of to the side. Hmm, but until I decide that for sure, we're just going to set that to the side. We're going to do a couple of other things first. I'm going to use my um, border maker system, and you'll recall, or maybe you won't recall, but let me show you the cover sheet from the first album the first volume of this series. So you can be re reminded of what that looks like. So here's the cover sheet for the first volume of the Oahu Hawaii series. And I'm gonna do something similar. I like the way this one looks sort of like a window looking out um, with those, with, with the sunburst border maker cartridge that we used. I can't remember actually if that's what it's called. Let me double check. Um, it's the Sunshine Arch. So what I'm going to do is rather than having something frame uh, right around this, I'm going to do a couple of um, just straight borders and and I think I'm going to do a border that goes all the way around. So let me let me just punch a couple of these and we'll see how that looks. My trash can is full. And whenever my trash can is full, I, I have to pause because I can't just throw my 
scraps like I normally can. So bear with me a second here. Okay, we're gonna do the opposite side of this piece and then we're gonna trim both of them off. So. She has the sneezes today. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is line up the base of the base of the half circle that is part of this border maker punch with the far side of my cutting mat, and then that way I will get a nice even base for that. And you can see how that'll make a really nice edge to cover up any any rough edges that I might have from not being able to align my paper properly or whatever. Because, you know, sometimes paper is longer or shorter than we expect. So we can do like that. And I think I'm going to do, let's do two more. So let me trim this off so that I can do two more using this paper. And actually, I think we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to use this. Now you can see how the full 12 inch border goes all the way to the edge on both sides. If I was to do a full 12 inch border on each of the horizontal sides, I'm going to, whoa, hello, going to interact at the corners, which is not, um, I don't know if I want those to overlap at the corners. So I need to just check it out and see. Oh, that's why that doesn't go all the way. I was not paying attention. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab a couple of these, or at least one. Post it to hold my paper where it's supposed to be. I'm surprised that stayed long enough for me to do those four. Because the paper wasn't long enough for the magnet to catch it. This punch, I have noticed, likes to hoard its scraps underneath, which can make punching inaccurate. So just, um, if you are using the Sunshine Arches punch, make sure that yours is not getting hung up and, um, and then punching incorrectly. So I'm just going to flip this over and do the same thing I did before. And we may need to do some trimming at the corners, which was what I was mentioning before, where they overlap. I'm not sure if I'm going to want them to overlap or not. So we'll just check it out and see.
Now this one looks like I'll probably only need to cut it straight down the middle and uh, we should be good. Let's take a look here. Yeah, that's going to be perfect actually to just go straight down the middle. And both of those are good to go. All right, let's check this out and see. See if we like the overlapness of this. If we don't, you know what? I don't think it looks too bad having it overlap. We could have made a frame that just w went all the way around, but I kind of like the way this, I kind of like the way this works. So I think I'm going to go with that. All right, in addition to that, what I'm going to do is um, punch Hmm. Actually, no. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut an outline for this heart. Now, we could cut an entire mat with this um, and just go ahead and cut the blue and it will be enough to frame this nicely, to mat it nicely. or what I was going to do was on top of the, f it, well, it doesn't really matter what I was going to do because I've changed my mind. Anyway, because um, I think this will actually be, make more sense and be more practical. So I'm going to take a piece of white shimmer, which matches the white shimmer I used for the Sunshine Arches border that's going all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, with the blue blade on the outside this time, not the green, I cut the photo with the green, we are going to cut a mat that's going to go all the way ar around the photo. Again, being careful around the corners, going slow to make sure everything gets cut. Alright, just like that. Thanks to my friend Kara for loaning this to me. I actually don't have this one. I have, I have the smaller version of this, which is the smaller heart with the smaller egg in the middle. Um, but um, my friend had that and didn't mind me borrowing it, so I appreciate her doing that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the photo in the middle of this mat. What I was originally going to do was just going to be more difficult than it needed to be. So, um, and I've run out of my permanent adhesive. So I'm going to grab my brand up here and use it because it's handy. There we go. Okay. And for any of you who are concerned, that is, this, this is the same adhesive um, that created memory cells. So no worries about it being archival quality. It's all good. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these borders around our edge. I'm going to do the right and left first and then do the top and the bottom so that there's some continuity there. And I'm really just going to put my adhesive down the band that goes along the straight edge of my layout. Oops. 
you can see that pink paper is sticking out a little bit. So I may have to come back with some scissors and trim that off, but that's okay, I can do that. like we've got a few on this side that I'm going to need to trim as well. This, this shimmer paper is the same on both sides, but I'm doing the same thing that we seem to always do with cardstock and flipping it over. <laughs> Kind of crazy how we get in that habit, you know? All right, there's that one. I have one more. This one from the top. Now we've got our heart, which will go on there and be framed very nicely. I also took the time to go ahead and print some titles on my, or our title, my title information on my Cricut so that it was ready to go. And I could do that um, for you as well. So let's see here. So this is going to be 30th anniversary. is going to say got July July 27th August 5th. Twenty All right. Um, I don't know if I like the way that is on there though. So let's see, how can we change that? Let me move this up just a little bit. Wahoo, Hawaii. Maybe we'll replace this and move July. Let's make this July. Twenty seventh. Two. two August fifth. Maybe we'll center that just a little bit better. Move that over. Something like that. And then 
2022 and we'll put volume two right here. Maybe I'll add this flower behind the volume two to kind of give it a little bit more emphasis. Volume two. Maybe I'll add that kind of on top of the picture just a little. We could do the same thing with this, just kind of move it in just a little so that it frames the photo better. All right, now I have a couple of other embellishments we can add on to this too, but let's, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this first and get it all um, secured on the page. So in addition to that, I have just a couple of cute embellishments I was going to try to incorporate here. I have these really pretty flowers that match that and match the colors on this. So I wanted to add those and I'm going to grab some foam squares. Pop these up just a bit. So what I thought I would do is kind of add these Maybe this would look better down here. Or maybe it would look better up here. Maybe we should add those kind of to balance out that other flower. up there. And then I had some leaves. Good stick of the leaf in there. That one might be a little too big. Let's see. something more like this. Let's grab another one here too. Cool. We did those kind of like so. Let's see. Of other leaves down here by the the other flower and actually I think that might be enough I don't really think we need to add a whole lot more to this
me get these. Adhered, just like this. Squeeze that one underneath there. Grab this one. Let's pick him underneath there. And I believe we are done. So there's the title page for volume two ready to go and I'll do the flip through for you. I know um, these are gonna these videos will be kind of squeezed in amongst my 12 layouts for Christmas so watch for them. Um, they won't be um, put out on a particular on, on a typical day so um, so there'll be surprises. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that this has been beneficial for you and inspires you and um, gives you some ideas that you can use in your own albums. And until next time, I wish you many more creative moments. Have a great day.